Hello everyone, let us consider the basic modeling procedure and let us model the mass spring uh, dash pod mechanical system. So this example is mass spring dashboard or damper mechanical system this system is almost uh, ubiquitously present in the nature and model representation of this system is usually given by the following scheme where we have dashboard here and here the spring attached to the mass M which is under the force F of T in other words we have that this mass M is essentially under the under the influence of several forces and we can write the second Newton's law which models my spring dashboard system namely what are the forces which are present in the system first we can just say that due to the presence of the mass we have inertial force so inertial force is present and inertial force is characterized as uh, m multiplies a but since we have a one-dimensional system with respect to the movement of this mass we are claiming that the second derivative with respect to time is acceleration or d square d t square and this is second derivative so this is just a inertial force next force to consider is the friction force or the force that is associated with the presence of the dashboard and it can be characterized as a cx dot and the last is elastic force which is just uh, represented as a linear uh, relationship uh, between a uh, x position of this uh, mass uh, multiplied by some linear elastic coefficient these three forces are balanced by the f of t in other words this is just model a representation of the mass spring dash pod mechanical system inertial force viscous or dumping force and elastic force in the system and we have external force which drives this system uh, and drives evolution of the motion of this mass now if uh, we would like to write a state space representation of this system and to obtain system of linear ordinary differential equations that is a b c and d 
we are essentially interested how to transfer the second order differential equation, we have a second derivative here, in a system of linear differential equations. And in order to do that, we assume the following, that x of t is, let's say, denoted as z1 of t. So position of this mass, I just denote with some another name, with another variable. Now, dx of t dt is x dot t in the same way it's z1 dot of t and I'm claiming that z1 dot of t is equal z2 okay and this is just by introducing z2 variable and assigning the derivative of the x dot to z2. Therefore, the upper equation here can be written as follows and multiplies d by dt d by d x and we see that this entire expression is z2 plus c x dot is z2 plus k and x here is z1 equal f of t In other words, this equation becomes n z dot two equal minus k z one minus c z two plus f of t. So we have now two equations that we can encircle. This is the first equation where ordinary differential, uh, where the essentially first order differential equation is popping up, and the second one here that we can write in the compact form in the following way so we just take these two equations and now we write z1 dot z2 dot equal Now z dot equal z2, so here is 0, 1, m is flipped on the lower side, so this is this becomes minus k by divided by m, and this becomes minus c divided by m z1 z2 plus 0 1 by n f of t in other words we obtain the matrix A and we obtain the matrix B in the state space realization what is the matrix C? Matrix C 
it depends how we specify the system, whether the output of the system is just the position or the velocity of the system. In the case when the output of the system is a position, so we have that y of t is equal x of t or in other words is equal z1 of t therefore the C matrix takes the following form 1 0 in the second case if The velocity or x dot is the output of the system, y of t. If x dot and this is equal c2, c matrix becomes 0, 1. Therefore, in this way, we obtain A, B, C, and D matrix, which obviously in this case is just zero. D matrix is a zero matrix, since there is no any channel to transfer the A directly into the output. In other words, force works explicitly on the position and velocity and in this case the D matrix is zero. Later on we will demonstrate in other cases that for the other models these A, B, C, D matrices will take different form again the C and D matrices are associated with the output and the A and B are associated with the ordinary differential equation or the system of ordinary differential equations which relate the input and the state.